Welcome everybody to the space that is in process on becoming the VSO Vault. And I also hope to eventually film in here, uh, maybe for like commentary stuff and is, you know blowout shots and things like that, stuff that we can do indoors that we don't need the range, maybe on rainy days and things like that. Uh, but I thought that I would use this video as an opportunity to take some pre-acoustic sampling of the room before we put anything in it. And as you guys can tell, it sounds pretty echoey, at least to me, uh, because it's all concrete and furring strips. There's gonna be some cool stuff that's gonna go in this room, so stand by on that. Uh, as we see it evolve, I'll probably do a full video on it uh, when it's ready. But that is not the topic of today's video. The question I wanna address today is, uh, are SBRs obsolete in the day of the brace? So what I have here is a C39 V2 pistol, and as you can see, I have my rugged um, surge, my rugged surge on the end of it, and it is fitted with the shockwave blade brace. And the reason I ask this question today is because it seems like a recurring theme whenever I feature a short barreled rifle on camera, people are like, why on earth would you ever do that? Why would you pay $200 tax stamp uh, and do all the paperwork and the waiting period and stuff when you can just put one of these on the end of it? And uh, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity because I just got back from the range and we had a breakage. you guys can see that thing is uh, screwed up there and the way this thing works so you guys can see is there's a set screw in there uh, that is basically designed to go on a bunch of holes down here at the begin uh, bottom and I'll show them to you here in a second because I don't want to give away the surprise of what happened uh, but what happens is whenever I get a gun that has one of these on it I go in and I lock tight the threads of this thing so it can't back out well uh, 7.62 by 39 is a heavy hitting cartridge. Uh, sometimes uh, when you've got a light gun like this, it can do things that you would not expect, like completely strip out the tube there. And I'll, I'll throw in a close up shot so that you guys can see that. That set screw was in this hole right here, the fifth hole back from the, from the rear. It was in there and then I did enough shooting of accidentally touching it to my shoulder uh, <laughs> and uh, it stripped it out. So the moral of the story is that while this is a good substitute um, in lieu of getting your uh, paperwork ready from the ATF for your short barrel rifle, a stock it does not make, and that is why it is classified as a brace, a pistol stabilizing brace to be used something like this or whatever. It's not designed to take the pressure of accidentally being pressed up against your shoulder during the firing sequence because it can damage it. Now there are some more rugged braces out there like the SB series and um, the Gearhead Works products and things like that that'll be a little bit more robust than this, but keep in mind guys that they are not designed to be stocks. And as such, you can come up with little idiosyncrasies like this. So is the SBR dead? I don't think that it is because a stock is not a brace and a brace is not a stock. my beard. Can you feel it getting shorter? Yeah, I can. <laughs> it got my beard. <laughs> with the, ah! So uh, the uh, shockwave blade is uh, is not the... Uh, it's not the brace we're looking for. 